Um, uh, I want to uh, tell you right now that uh, Penn State deserved they uh, they deserved a better outcome than that. They played that was not a five to one game. We were awful. We were awful. It was a slop fest, and uh, they put pressure on us. They created chances. I've never had a team in 25 years play that badly and win by a five to one score. They, Penn State deserved a better fate. And if, if, and if we play that way tomorrow, that score is going to be, I'll guarantee it, is going to be turned around because we got a better chance of hitting the Powerball than we do of winning again playing that poorly. Um, you want to know how poorly we played? Look, look at the situation. Look at the situations out there. Look at the penalties we took. We took too, too many men on the ice penalties. How many pucks did we turn over at the offensive blue line? We took a penalty when we were down a man to put us down two men, and our best defenseman takes a, a missile off the kneecap because we take a stupid penalty. The only goal we give up, how's this for puck management, managing the clock and managing the game? We're up three to nothing, and we have a power play, and we give up a shorthanded breakaway. So how did we win, coach? You played so badly, how'd you win? We won because the best player on the ice happened to be in our goal. Best player on the ice happened to be in our goal. No. Hats off to Penn State. They deserve a way better fate. Way better fate. At 35 shots. No. No, you know what? I've been doing this too long. I, uh, I don't coach the scoreboard. There's sometimes you play your butts off. You play with heart, vigor, and, and, and the other goalie's hot or just things don't bounce your way. You know, I can take that. But uh, tonight, we were awful. We got lucky. We got, we got an early Christmas present tonight. And I'll guarantee you, we ain't getting another one tomorrow if we play that badly. We'll get punched right in the mouth. Need anything more? You need a good quote? Yeah. Oh, like, I'll tell you right now. Like, I'm not even going to watch video. It was that bad. I mean, like, I'm, it, it was that bad. If I go and watch video, I'm going to get 30 or 40 clips of us making bonehead plays, and we're going to, and, and I'm going to beat them up with that tomorrow, and we'll be so beat up, we'll come to the game that, I mean, it's one of those games that was, in my opinion, and it's, it's all things that, you know, hockey players at this level, these guys are all 20-year-old freshmen. They, they, it's not their first rodeo. They all came in from the North American League, the BCHL, the USHL. I mean, this is basic hockey. We're, we're playing as a bunch of individuals. We've got to play as a team. And, uh, and uh, it, it's things that if you don't know, you're never going to know. And uh, to, to put all that, to, to, to go over the film, put all those clips together, and beat them to a pulp tomorrow morning isn't going to do us any good tomorrow night. It was, in my opinion, it was so bad. Like, like I, I got it off my chest to them, and I just got the icing on the cake to you. I'm feeling a lot better right now. And uh, uh, like I said, tomorrow, we, we, it's a, we just got to flush it. We've got to flush it, and we've got to come back together tomorrow more focused, and we've got to simply play better. Um, what, what? He was unbelievable. I didn't, didn't you guys think so? I mean, like, are you kidding me? I mean, he made a, just some of the saves. And, oh, there was one real subtle one in the, uh, in, in, the, in the third period. One of the Penn State guys, I don't know who it is, got in tight, went forehand to backhand and lifted it. I mean, and, and somehow he, he had his gap and he hit it. it, took, it yes, he took it in the shoulder. I mean, like, it... Your, your novice hockey fan wouldn't pick that up, but I mean, that, that kid put that puck right in the scoring area, right, yeah, that shit, and Torf, Torf's gap, and, and he's not a big man, Torf's only a six-footer, I mean, he, t he played that one like a six-four guy can usually, maybe might be able to get away with that, a six-footer doesn't, and uh, like, how about the one where we had the bad line change in the second period, I mean, like, come on, we don't know how to change lines now, boys, bad line change, and he went from Los Angeles to New York and made that glove save, remember that? And then we got lucky. We got lucky. We're managing the game so poorly. We got a power play. We got a chance to salt the game away. And we give up a shorthanded breakaway. And we make it 3-1. to one, And then we get lucky. Carew just throws one at the net. And I don't know how, you know, the goalie didn't see it or what. But, I mean, like, it went in. And it, it, if we don't score that goal and, co and counter their shorty, let me tell you, they were coming. And uh, the outcome may not have been what it was.
you know that kind of that was that was a punch in the gut back to them you know uh, we, you know we uh, self-inflicted wound for us but you know we like we needed the counter there and uh, because they, they were coming I still there was still about what nine ten minutes left in the game when that happened and uh, and the way we, uh, sloppy as we were playing McKenzie's out with that puck off the kneecap yeah uh, no no that was uh, Merry Christmas uh, Air Force Got an early one. We got to be better tomorrow. Any other questions? Coach, what about your penalty kill? They were six for six, and at times it seemed like Penzi couldn't break out of their own zone. You know, our you know our penalty killing wasn't horrendous, but there was a couple situations where you know our best penalty killer got the puck early on one, and and you know like and could have cleared the puck, tried to skate it out, got stripped, and then we had to play another 45 seconds in the zone, and. Um, you know, the key to any penalty kill is minimizing the opposition's end zone time. And, um, like, you, when, when you have a chance to clear the puck, you have to clear it. Because if you don't, you know what, how many baseball fans are here? You know, you make an error in a game, you make an error, you're, you're giving them a fourth out. You know, the same thing. You miss a clear. Like, if you give any team in, in, at this level, all the teams are fairly comparable anyway, you give them too much end zone time, they're going to get scoring chances. And... Uh, but, but, but for the most part, our, our penalty killing wasn't, uh, you know, it, it, that wasn't a, uh, the worst part of our game. I think probably it wasn't the worst part of our game because when they were down a man, they didn't try to do too much. You know what I mean? No, it's a team game. And uh, you can't play. You have to play as a team. You can't try. You've got to play within yourself. And um, all you are is a cog in the machine. And we had too many... We had too many individuals out there tonight, and um, and we got lucky. We got lucky. Now I told Tommy Olchuk, I, Tommy and I go way back. His son and my son were roommates and juniors, and I told Tommy at the end of the game, I said, "You guys deserve a better fate. You'll 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 beat our behinds tomorrow if uh, if we don't play better." And uh, that's that. Never, never. I mean, we've we've played bad and won before, but I mean, people that look at that score are going to think that that we hammered them. I mean, and, and it, it wasn't that way. Uh, it just plain and simple wasn't that way. Uh, it's kind of funny. It's a funny game. Sometimes they, I think they should call this game goalie instead of hockey. You know, and uh, and because uh, because tonight, like I said, uh, no, they're. They, that first period, they were all over us, and uh, no, the, we won that game for one reason. We had the best player on the ice, and the best player was 29. Yep. Coach, you uh, coming in against Penn State, very good program. You had some success with your conference. How did you prepare for the game? How did you... Obviously, not very well. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously not very well. I, I tried, you know. Everybody wants to make Penn State as this fledgling program. Hey, all their players are from the USHL, the BC Junior League. I mean, they got uh, uh, Taylor, um, who's a little guy? Taylor, he played with my son too. What's his last name? Holstrom. Ta Taylor Holstrom. Hey, Taylor Holstrom was the rookie of the year in our league two years ago. I mean, you know, uh, the, the defenseman, Jensen. I mean, you know, he was on the all, he was all, on the all rookie team. You know, Lordo played in uh, Sioux, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Sioux Falls. I mean, like these, they got. They, hey, they're legit. They might be a little on the little on the young side, but I mean, but they have, they got some 20, 20 year old. They have some 20, 21 year old freshmen out there. Um, so I mean, it's not like they're a bunch of, you know, they're they're a bunch of uh, little little uh, children with with peach fuzz on their face. I mean, they, they, those kids, they got legit resumes. Hey, who's the big kid? Uh, uh, Gardner played with my son at Minnesota two years ago. We played in Dubuque last year in the USHL. I mean, yeah, like he played. He was good enough to get a scholarship at Minnesota. There's, you know, let me just tell you, there's something there. I mean, no, they they they've got they've got a good group. Now, do they have? Do they need to get more experience? Do they need need to get older? Do they need another recruiting class? Well, they sure as hell do to play against uh, the teams they're going to be playing against next year when they're playing the you know the uh, the Gophers and the Badgers. Uh, those are different animals than the Falcons. Let me just tell you, uh, on a on a game to game on a game to game basis. Um, but I, I think uh, uh, first of all, their staff, 
Guy Godowski is an outstanding hockey man and an outstanding coach. And I, I see the recruits that they're bringing in, how quickly they put this thing together. Uh, no, th there's going to be some fun times uh, uh, ahead here in Happy Valley with, uh, with Nittany, Nittany Lion Hockey. It's uh, the excitement, the new building coming up. Uh, they've got a great foundation here. They've got another recruit. Good. They got, I, like I know, there some of the, a lot of the recruits that are committed for the next two years. They got some big time guys coming in. Um, it's it's not going to be long uh, before uh, before they're trading uh, blows evenly with those other teams in the Big Ten. And and uh, like uh, let's just face it, yeah, you, you look at those Big Ten teams. Add Notre Dame, add, add Boston College, and a few others. Th th that's the BCS. Of, that's the BCS of, of college hockey. And uh, no, and, and they're going to be they're going to be right there in the thick of things. Uh, you know, uh, Fisher, the assistant, grew we grew up together in, in northern Minnesota. You know, he's a really good uh, recruiter, and and Godowski's a heck of a, a hockey man. Now, nah, those guys, uh, now th this team is it's it's no accident that they've done well against our league. And and but again, they should. I mean, they, it's not like it's not like they're they're bringing guys in from from club hockey. I mean, these are kids that played in the best. Junior League in North America, for the most part, the USHL.